at least he get a good screen. He's come running. Not buy those. I don't need those. This is it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's down. I, I, I. Guys, I nailed it. I absolutely nailed it. <laughs> One and a half month worth of work. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. The clip you just saw was the end of my challenge to get a diamond red to read the recurve bow all the way back in 2019. My whole point in the, in the challenge was to take down Red Deer in Hirschfelden with the notoriously difficult Rigger bow. The aiming of that thing was absolutely horrendous back in the day. You couldn't aim it properly, you had to kind of wing it. So I took over a month hunting every single day in Hirschfelden using only the Rigger bow. And I never got the diamond in this map. I moved my challenge to the Parque Fernando just to have change of scenery and it took me two weeks hunting the Parque for every single day to finally get the diamond red deer and complete my challenge. But it always bothered me that I never got diamond red deer in my favorite map here in Hirschfelden until today. <laughs> because completely random I was showing off the map to my friend and all of a sudden from the bushes a big level 9 red deer just walks on the field just to show himself that okay I have arrived so today I really want to take down this level 9 with the recurve bow and finally finish my challenge all these years after I'm sure this is gonna be an awesome hunt and I really hope this guy makes a diamond so fingers crossed he's gonna be big enough and I want to give you guys an update on Virtual Hunter our virtual reality hunting simulator that is available on Steam's early access lately we have added some really awesome stuff to it one of them being a completely reworked trophy lot that is several times bigger than their previous small cabin that we had. It has several great features and functions, such as this big showroom, as we call it, that is hanging on a ledge with really awesome views all around. And because of the trophy mount system, you can place the trophies all around however you want. It gives you a lot of freedom to do whatever you want with them. And the lodge also has a shooting range and a 3D archery course right next to it where you can truly train your skills and aiming so you don't miss that critical shot when you have a big trophy around so if you have PC VR and would like to check the game out I have the, all the links down in the description but now let's get to the spot where I saw him and start dragging him down so here we are at my tent where I saw this guy this is gonna trick my nostalgic nostalgia even more because this tent have always been in this position it's the first tent that i ever placed in the game when the tents were released and i have never moved it so it makes the perfect sense and that's another layer that the guy actually showed himself right by my tent he was on that field so i'm gonna move on to there see if i can find any any clues and see if where he is so, I figured, since it's Red Deer drink time, this lake is the closest to his location. So I'm gonna hop in there, see if there are any Red Deer, maybe I can find him at the lake. If I don't, I'm gonna change the time when I saw him last time, that was midday. And then I can go back to my tent and see if I can actually find him from the fields. But I'll get back to you when I'm at the lake. There we go. There's at least one, there's two stacks, small ones, just the level 6, and I wonder if he's gonna be here. I don't see any more red deer around here. Oh, oh, oh something's running. 
That's a red deer. Is there any stack? I can only see hinds, more hinds. There's a level 6. No level 9 though. But he might have been here. You actually never know. He was alone. So he did not have a herd. So I wouldn't expect to see him in this big group. But I go around the whole lake. Scan all the tracks. And if I find something. I'll get back. But I don't know. These two guys are just hanging around. So hopefully he's here. I went through the whole lake, scanned all the tracks that I could find, got all the drink zones, and he was absolutely not there. Not a single sign for a max to eight deer. <laughs> so I'm gonna get back where I actually saw him. And he was in those fields somewhere there, so I'm gonna go around. Maybe I can find him. It should be rest time for the red deer. So he might have been going to, the, to his rest spot. From there... He was walking towards this side, so hopefully I can find his rest zone or any tracks and actually get him come around. I found tracks. They were red deer. Let's see how big they are. 210, 240. That's the max weight track that has to be his track because I have not seen a single red deer stack around this area except for him. And this is a solo track. So I think I have, I have, I have him. This looks like a rest zone. So if this is his rest zone, I have his exact location and time. There we go. Rest zone discovered for this Max Weight Red Deer. This has to be his zone. He has to be around here. And that makes perfect sense because he was walking towards this way. So I'm gonna have, I already have a tripod set. I'm gonna look around if I can find more tracks, and if I don't, I'm gonna hop on to the tripod, change time, and hopefully I can get a glimpse of him coming to the zone. Alright, I have set the time, it's before his rest time, so I'm gonna try and see if I can get him, have, any, have a glimpse of him coming to the zone. So his zone is still gonna be right there, so I'm on the way to his zone. Hopefully the wind stays fine and I don't have to worry about that too much. Remove that. He should be coming from that side. From somewhere around those trees. Man. <laughs> I haven't been this excited about actual hunt in the game for a long time. But we have a roe deer and we have a ton of geese. This is probably one of the worst places you can have a tripod and wait around because all the geese are on this field, so it's gonna be extremely irritating, but I gotta wait the risk. I have a reward that I need to get. <laughs> Hopefully I get to see him, so I'm gonna just sit and wait and hope for a sign. The wind has turned and these geese are driving me insane. <laughs> I still haven't seen any sign of him, but he should be coming around quite soon. Whoa, 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 there he is. Look at that. He's level 9 and he's exactly when the wind turned. <sighs> Dang it. Okay, but look at those antlers. That is gorgeous level 9 red beard. <laughs> Holy crap. His estimate is not looking too good. He might be a troll, but I have a concrete proof that he, there he is. So he came from that side. So that means he is coming from there to the rest zone. The wind, I can't stay on this spot, so this needs a lot more planning. I need to find a proper place for the tripod and see if I can actually get him to come when he is actually moving to the, to the zone. I'm gonna mark his spot and I have to go and start scouting a proper location for the tripod. <laughs> Man, it's always gonna be like this. It's never gonna be easy for me. Alright, time to hop down from here. I had a fox there, but it's now, of course, gone. Alright, let's hop down and start going and find a proper spot. <laughs> okay, I've spent the last like 10 minutes scouting his tracks, seeing where he is going, where he's coming from. And this looks 
absolutely perfect. He should be coming from the left and walk over the meadow to go to his rest zone. So if I place this tripod somewhere around here, that looks pretty good. So the plan is he is coming from the left and he walks to his rest zone just across this meadow. And the wind should be good unless he really comes exactly from the left. But all his tracks are coming a bit further down. So he should not be smelling me. I should be pretty good in here. <laughs> so and this is like proper hunting planning. This is the kind of stuff that I really like. Tracking down the animal, making an action plan where I can do it. So he's gonna come from the left. I'm gonna call him in and take him down with the recurve right on this meadow and I can't wait time to go and change the time and let hope and get him to come around here we go time is changed put some deodorant and now the wait game begins hopefully he comes around he should be he came last time but this is gonna be quite a wait but very much worth it There he is, there he is, he's coming exactly where I thought he's gonna come, right down, straight across the meadow, let's call him in, <laughs> it actually worked, <laughs> look at this beauty, it's a monster looking guy, that was an actual great execution of the plan <laughs> i really like when the plan actually works he's coming running really fast though this guy has absolutely no fear at all when i'm not in a hurry i'm gonna take more pictures because this is the moment i have been waiting for several years have a level 9 red deer in hirschfelden and i'm gonna take him down with the recurve bow now He's not too far. I don't want to take frontal shot unless I really, really have to. So I'm just gonna wait him to just turn around. Hopefully he's gonna give me a broadside. But since I gave him a call, I really don't think so. So I'm gonna be prepared just taking him down from the front. Single lung is gonna be enough. So unless he's gonna turn, I really have to take the shot. That angle is way better, okay. <laughs> Got it! And he's gonna take him down. <laughs> That's vital plan. And down he goes. Down he goes. Uh, level 9. <sighs> Finally, after all these years. I have a level 9 red tier down with the recurve bow. That's big vital blood. And he's dead. Okay, gotta rewind a bit. <laughs> there he is. Look at that. Now my next worry is gonna be, is he gonna actually be a diamond? Do I actually get a diamond red deer in my collection? Now you kids can just fly off. I don't need your honking at this moment. <laughs> it's gonna ruin my whole mood. <laughs> Let's step down this grass so we can see a bit better this guy. That was absolutely perfect shot. But look at this. I'm not sure how I feel about the antlers. I like the right one more than the left one. But let's pick him up. And he's a diamond. 252.98. He barely made it. Man, I got super lucky with that. <laughs> I think the right side saved me. The left one looks way smaller than it is. That was a single lung. Stacks him before anything bad happens. But look at him. That is a massive looking diamond red deer. Even though his car is not much, he's still a diamond. And I barely missed the heart. That was so close. Looks like it didn't penetrate all the way. But I take it. I definitely gonna take this. 
These mismatching antlers are quite hilarious. I'm not sure how do I actually feel about it, but and he's very unique and he's from Hirschfelden, so I am completely happy with this guy. I, actually, I wouldn't couldn't be more happy. Man, that felt so rewarding. <laughs> okay, let's gonna take him to the lodge. So here I have this level 9 that was not a diamond and this bigger one that is an actual diamond. This guy, I actually do, I hate this red deer antlers, those ladders. So I'm just gonna remove him and replace him with a proper diamond. I'm gonna find him a proper pose to match the door. And that's gonna do it. He's very majestically taking anyone who wants to visit my lodge here on the front door with the other diamond red deer. And I'm gonna treasure him for quite a while. When you compare these guys, this guy is significantly better and bigger, even though his score is a lot less. Man, now I actually feel like that I have somewhat finished Hirschfelden. <laughs> There's a huge like part of miss that, that was missing is now filled. That challenge that I started in all those years back finally feels like I have now completed it. And this guy just randomly showed up. I had not hunted to get the map for a long time, so I have no idea how long he has been around. Could have been for a really, really long time. And that's actually perfect timing too, because in the next update they are gonna delete all the red deer zones and refresh them, so this guy would have disappeared <laughs> next week. So that's awesome that I got to do this guy right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and as always have fun, happy hunting and I see you on the next one. Bye bye.